and this is the space where I build all the dominoes and I store everything and I make videos. So this is the place where all of the magic happens. And I know you've already seen this area in my videos, but I'm going to do a very detailed run through on where I store everything and all of my materials so you can get a really inside look of how I go about making videos and being a domino artist. This floor space is 30 feet by 19 feet. It's a pretty big area and it can hold about 30,000 dominoes. So we walked in, you'll see a garage door right here, so if I need to unload anything, this goes up and then we can easily put a car right here and unload. Over here we have the back door, light switch, and this cord runs all the way through here to right here. And this is where I keep my GoPro if I want to do an overhead time lapse. Keep the fall wall here in the corner. And then behind me I have these really big white boards. And this is just to block the area of the wall that's like really ugly and dirty and gross. I didn't do it, it was the people before me. Sometimes I use this board to build on if I need a white surface. And these drawers, I hold all of my other weird contraptions. So in this drawer we have a bunch of string, tape, scissors, random stuff. In this drawer we have some field starters and direction changers. In this one, we have some templates, rulers, the auto toppler, and a sample pack of every single domino color. This drawer is where I keep all of the Hot Wheels stuff. So we got like Hot Wheels tracks, ping pong balls, connectors, cars, things like that. The bottom drawer is where I keep most of the small to large sets. So these are the big dominoes that you'll see um, knocking down big structures. Whoa. <laughs> So in this drawer we have all of my bridges and wooden staircases and just small wooden things that I would use in a setup. This drawer is pretty interesting. We have playing cards, mini popsicle sticks, some barrier blocks, and cups. They're not for drinking, they're for building. This last drawer is called the random drawer and it literally has every single random thing that you could imagine. They don't fit in the rest of these containers, so I just put them all in here. Now on top of these drawers, you'll find some of my cameras, a speaker, and then some tape and string. The cool thing about these stairs, if I need to like grab something that's like right here, but it's in the back and I don't want to reach it by going under the stairs, I can just go over here and grab whatever I want. Next to these containers and underneath the staircase, we have a mini fall wall, some staircases, Jenga, some marble tracks, and some other cool stuff which I will go and show you. Let's go underneath the stairs now. So we have like a little tiny hallway that you can walk through. Good thing I'm short. All right, so back here, you'll see a basketball, a box of Mexican train dominoes, a cap of box. It has toilet paper tubes and lamping rulers in there. In this container down here, we have blocks, and then we have some Legos and connects. If we go over here, we have a box of Kappa, direction changers, popsicle sticks, a red and green box of dominoes. And these are more popsicle sticks, pivot tracks, and more direction changers. I tried to make use of the space as much as possible. So in these little corners, we have cups and some foam. So if I need that for like a barrier or something, I could use that. In this container, we have all the rest of my small to large sets. This box contains all of my domino rally contraptions. This is the domino rally dominoes. And then this is a bunch of curved tracks and straight tracks for balls and ramps. We have city blocks, color changing dominoes, and more tricks, tracks, parts. We have the supports down here and then the actual contraptions in this container. And we also have some handy clamp lights if I need some more lighting. Over here we have some tripods, yardsticks, and a vacuum cleaner because, you know, floors get dirty and uh, you don't want to build on a dirty floor. This is the area where I keep all of my dominoes. And right now, I have about 70,000. 70,000 dominoes. How did I even get this many? Let's uh, take a stroll through here. These are all my dominoes. Each one of these bins holds about 800. Every color. You can go in the dark dominoes, color changing dominoes. In the back we have a box of mini dominoes. And then these are all my templates and some really long bridges. And a nice shelf back here. Now you'll find that most of these bins don't have lids on them. And that's because I like to see the color of the domino when I walk through this. It gives me um, just like more creative ideas when I can see the color and I know what I have available. I don't really like lids. They're just kind of a, a hazard when you're building and they're like all spread out in the floor. Let's take a look upstairs. Let's go upstairs. This is the second level and it's really cool because I can film from a really high angle up here and I can build two videos at once if I have a floor here and downstairs. This space is 18 and a half by 14 feet wide. And this is a smaller building area, but if you go over here, over the balcony, you can see an entire view of the big building space. And unfortunately, I did have to give up the studio because I only rented it for my gap year. But I mean, maybe I'll get another studio in the future that's even bigger and better. You never know. 
But anyways, I hope you enjoyed watching this studio tour. And as always, I'm Hevish5, and I'll see you next Saturday.